Japan is still shaking. The whole country has been rocked by 19 earthquakes in one day. Then they have a red weather alert issues, bad weather's coming in. And the earthquake swarm at the Tokara Islands is still ongoing. And volcanoes are erupting, one with lightning and really, really intense alarm level three. Kids are now in the Kagoshima area required to wear helmets at all time if they're at school ground and outside so crazy things so what's the latest guys we know that these earthquakes in the Tokara Islands I mean it's a small island chain basically the Ryuko um, volcanic arc um, these islands are volcanoes so they are pretty sure the origin is magmatic for these earthquakes so will we see an underwater eruption or something like this like on the west coast of the US, check out my video in the end screen, actual sea mound actually, seems to be ready right now. But in Japan, things are being strange. Two islands have been moved away from each other in three days, 10 centimeters. They usually move a little bit per year in the same direction. Now it's the opposite direction. So what's happening? The frequent earthquakes that we're seeing in the Tokara Island in the meantime, since this swarm began on June 21st, more than roughly 2,200 earthquakes so far, people have been evacuated from these remote islands. And now we just had three more people that tried to evacuate, but then their ferry ride had to be canceled on yesterday's night because of bad weather. So it's not that easy to get off these islands. It's only possible by ferry and it's a long ride. Most of the residents evacuated from Akusekijima, this island, because that is the most, if you want to say densely populated, there's not many people on the island. A few remained behind because they had elderly family members or livestock that they had to take care of. I've reported about that. One school principal stayed behind because the school was the evacuation center. And so some residents have decided, despite the swarm going on, to go back because they want to see their family members. It's understandable. It's been quite a while. I think they started to leave the island on July 3rd, so over two weeks ago. The experts are telling us the activity remains at high level, the earthquake activity, and they say it's unpredictable when it comes to the end, when it will end, when it will be over for the Tokara Islands. It could be that this will last for quite a while, guys, and these 2,200 earthquakes have been very noticeable earthquakes. The people are worn out, the people that were still on the island with no sleep, constant rattling basically. So this is nothing you want to go through. And several volcanoes have been spewing ashes and smaller eruptions and larger eruptions. And we just had an eruption with lightning spotted at Mount Sakurajima that is in the Kagoshima prefecture and it erupted just a few hours ago and has produced a northward moving ash cloud that rose to an altitude of roughly 2.7 miles. And what is remarkable and what I always like to see because it looks so fascinating is that this volcanic eruption has generated a volcanic thunderstorm in this rising ash, in this massive cloud of darkness, you see the lightning. And this was going on for several hours. They have a live cam, cam at that volcano where it was visible, but also glowing volcanic rocks, they're called tephra, have been spit out by the volcano and they landed on the outer flank of this crater cone and were, were visibly glowing red there and it was really an explosion that Sakurajima has produced yesterday and it was not only spewing out ash but it it rose and, and several explosions like this happened yesterday today and what is still happening at Sakurajima, and that is interesting, it still continues to experience the flank steepening and expansion. 
because there's magma underneath the volcano that wants to get out. We do have an inflation, a land rise. That means magma is filling up and magma wants to come to the surface. And these explosions and eruptions that we've seen here had no effect on that. It hasn't slowed the magma down, hasn't stopped it. So it seems there's a lot of magma that wants to come to the surface. So the scientists say they expect that the pressure in the production system will continue to rise. With production system, they mean the magma chamber that's underneath the volcano that is filling up with magma until the point of maximum elasticity and then boof. So unfortunately, and that is because this volcano is close to populated areas, more populated areas, a more intense eruption phase is likely to occur sooner or later. Is that related through all the rumbling on the Tokara Islands? So far, everyone says no. It's just, is that coincidence? It quite like the volcanoes are so active and then we have that earthquake swarm. But so far, they say there is no connection. Alert status at Sakurajima is three climbing to Sakurajima. No tourists. It's absolutely prohibited. Stay away from this volcano because it's located on a relatively densely populated peninsula in Kagoshima Bay and therefore it poses a high risk for people that are in the area. I mean that's why the kids are wearing helmet because it's like bullets. These tephra particles, these volcanic rocks, they're flying out there like bullets. So warnings are issued not only about ashfall that could disrupt traffic, clog the roads, destroy car engines, but especially also about the possibility of pyroclastic flows. These pyroclastic flows, these explosions that are shooting out material at high speed and that you can't outrun when you're too close. And these lahars, these massive volcanic mud flows that travel very, very fast and can bury villages underneath. So there is a risk that strong pressure waves could shatter windows, flying glass could cause injuries. And then you can see it from the Sakurajima volcano. There's another volcano, Kirishima. It's also still active and has also just emitted volcanic ash yesterday. It seems that the overall activity is declining. So there's a lot going on in Japan still. This mysterious earthquake swarm with these mysterious side effects on one island, the cliffs were falling into the sea. Um, the water colors were changing when they were flying over it. And, and the scientists that flew over the island said, something's different this time, something's strange. That's why I will keep you updated, guys. If you want to know what happened before in the last few weeks, very interesting. I have a playlist, Japan Earthquakes, or just go to my video start page, click videos, click resend, and then you see so much going on, guys. I put a few for you in the end screen. Campi Flickery, scary news by the day. You should really binge watch that because that one is a dangerous super volcano in Italy. So if you want to support the channel, guys, links are in the description. You can buy me coffee, supers, become supporting channel members. Everything is explained, link in the description. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you so much for your support. And I see you in the next one, maybe right there if you click there. Take care. Bye-bye.